Hello and welcome to the chaos. Oh, sorry. I bumped the camera. I did not mean to do that. Uh, this is going to be a quick yarn haul video. Um, I actually found some yarn at a thrift store and I never find it there. Like I go thrift store shopping pretty frequently and this time we were going for clothes from one of my teenagers and I really did not have any anticipation of finding anything for myself. We were just looking for clothes for her. And we were, went with my sister and one of her friends as well. And it was my sister that found the yarn and brought my attention to it. And it was one of those like four tiered shelves. And then like, but the bottom tier is basically just a bin, the entire length of the shelf, right? Well, that whole bin was full of yarn, y'all. Like stock full. And about 80% of it was burnout blanket, which y'all know I really like using. Now, a lot of it was like the older formulation, like rougher stuff, but there was a lot of it that was pretty soft too. So I just kind of went, I went through everything, touching and feeling and grabbing the ones that felt like they were soft enough to work with. And I came away, let me see if I can grab hold here. <sighs> with so much yarn, so much. So I want to show you what I got. <laughs> Okay, starting in this bag. Now, a lot of it does not have labels, so I can't even tell you what colorway it is or anything about it, other than I know it's all burnout. Just by looking at it, you can tell. Okay, so this, this one is one without a label. And it's this variegated and, like, pink and light purple, and there's, like, some cream and, like, some gray in there. I feel like this is probably is a colorway that is still currently available but this one just didn't have a label so i don't know what the name of it is and it does have it has the center pull already pulled out look at there huh. so that's that one some of these may be duplicates because i just was at grabbing everything that seemed soft this one is Bernat stripes it does have a label in very pretty colors and now this i don't know for sure what i'll do i may cake it up in the separate colors and use the colors separately rather than all together since it's going to have, where's the thing that shows the color? See, it's going to have like really stark color changes. So it may be, check on my, may be more useful to me um, separated out like that rather than trying to use it straight from the cake like this. So there's that one. This one is another one without a label, but look at these colors. Just the blues and greens and aquas. Very pretty. A lot of these were variegated colors, which I don't know, maybe it was somebody who was like de-stashing and decided they just didn't like all these different variegations. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure how the thrift store got a hold of all this stuff, but it was a lot of it. There's this smaller one of just a hot pink. It's not the hot pink sparkle, so it's just just the hot pink. I think it's probably Burnout Brights. And this one may have been partially used, or it may just have been the, the smaller 150 gram ball instead of the 300 gram. Uh, this one sort of has a label. The label is trying to run away. So this is Burnout Baby Blanket in wading pool wading pool and that's already like we'll just get rid of that so wading pool more fun blues and greens i really like the neon green in this one some of these are a little bit of a mess so i'm probably gonna have to take some time and like re-cake a lot of these before i use them because they're kind of falling apart some of them are okay but some of them are really going to need some caking because they're a bit messy like this one's okay now that i've done that let me just tuck that tail so I don't lose it. There we go. Uh, let's see next. This was interesting. I think I have two of these in here somewhere. One of them might be in the other bag. This is very odd, and I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to make with it. This may be more of like accessories than plushies because it's all these different textures of yarns. Like, this is a thicker but it's like more of a standard acrylic than a plush. 
then it, it does have like the blanket plush in there it's got this twisted roving type in there it has this weird wonky fluffy stuff in there this is burnout bundle brights and is an exclusive color for joanne what's the telio it's called what's the telio um i'm actually curious to see if there's like a date on here because i feel certain that this is a discontinued color it's 250 grams yeah i don't see a date so i don't know but i feel certain this is probably discontinued and i I'm pretty sure I found at least two of these in the bins, so um, one maybe in the other bag. All right, next is another one without a label, but it's just this really nice burgundy wine color. I'll open this. And then another stripe, another striped cake. Look at those colors. Aren't those pretty? This is. I have it upside down. Tiny teal. Granite baby blanket stripes and tiny teal. So that's the colors all striped out like that. Again, I will probably cake all of these separate. Um, this one is really soft. The others were like moderately soft so far. This one is like new formulation soft. The others are workable, but not as soft as this. This is Sailor's Delight. Burnett Blanket Sailor's Delight. I think this is still an active color. That one's really pretty. And then another Stripes. This time in Little Lilacs. So it's purples and pinks and whites. That's the striping pattern. Oh, is it the, I think it's the same as the other one. Yeah, so I've got two of the little lilacs. You cannot sit on me while I'm doing this. Okay, so that was it for the first bag. So next, we have this one, Man in the Moon, Burnett Baby Blanket. How cool is this? Like, all of these variegated yarns are so pretty, and I have no idea what I'm going to make with them, but I could not turn up my nose at thrift store yarn they were charging five dollars a skein for these y'all five dollars and if it was a smaller skein like the smaller hot pink one three dollars who where else are you going to get burnett blanket for three dollars here's another one of the bundle brights with the weird variations i think this is a different color yeah the other one was more blue this one's more green this one is called jurassic oh that's kind of cool yeah, and another exclusive only at Joanne colorway that I'm pretty sure is discontinued. Okay, and then we have, oh, this is another good soft one, uh, Pink Lagoon. Pink Lagoon. And you can tell these are all brand new, even if they're a little bit, you know, manhandled. This one is Baby Grays. So pinks and grays, very pretty. This one is one that I'm one I'm certain I'm gonna have to cake up to use and I don't know what colorway it is because there's no label and it's it's a hot mess but look at these pretty colors such fun summer vibes with this yeah I'm definitely who does a miss hold on let me see if I can get this wound up real quick because this was a big old mess maybe I can fix it maybe I don't have to cake it I hate caking these burnout skeins I love what they look like when they're caked, but I always have to cut them into like three pieces or sometimes four because my yarn winder cannot handle an entire skein of burnout. It just gets, it gets filled up and then like it, it starts getting um, caught on the little metal piece that holds the tail of the yarn. Okay. So this one, here's another really soft one. This one is, where's the color? Pink Lagoon. I think I had, it. yeah. Pink, I've got two of these. Pink Lagoon. There's another one. And another one of the... Oh, you know what? I think this is the same as this. But this one actually has a label. So this is Purple Plum. So I have two... No, three. Three. I have two without labels and one with a label. 
a purple plum. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this purple plum. It seems more of a wintry color, but hey, five dollars. And then this one, I don't have a clue what color this is, and I feel like this was probably two skeins that somebody balled up into the world's biggest yarn ball. Look at this next to my head. This is insane. I have no idea what colorway this is, but I spent five dollars on this ball of yarn, y'all. Five dollars. That was it for this yarn ball bigger than my head. And I, yeah, I don't have another color similar to it, so I don't, no idea what it, I think this is the last one from that bag. This is another one of the small ones that was for $3. So yeah, these are 150 grams. That's what I thought. Um, Oceanside. Oceanside. So you can see they're almost all variegated colors, which makes me think that maybe somebody just like, had bought a whole bunch of yarn and then couldn't decide what to do with all the variegated stuff and maybe just like de-stashed by giving it all to the thrift store which um thank you if you did that that was amazing because i got all this stuff for five dollars a steam or three dollars for these littler ones and you just you can't get prices like that at joanne's it's it's insane so if you all have any ideas for fun things I can do with some of these colors. I am open to ideas because I don't even know some of them, especially these fun textured ones. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this would make like a really interesting scrappy bunny or scrappy bear or something like that. But I just, I had to grab a couple of them. There were more of these there, but since I couldn't really figure out exactly what I would even do with them, I'd couldn't justify getting more than just the two to play around with but yeah I cleaned out that thrift store I mean I'm I went and got a shopping buggy and I loaded that thing up so that's my little yarn haul hope you guys enjoyed like I said if you have any ideas for what I can do with some of this stuff pop them down into the comments I'd be happy to see them um sorry dog is walking right in front of everything uh and that's it for today and I hope y'all have a great day I'll see you in the next time. Bye. So, quick update. And sorry if my voice sounds weird. I already took my microphone off. But I went ahead and caked up the giant ball. And that's what it turned into. And funnily enough, when I got through the first, like, two and a half cakes, maybe the first three cakes, um, I discovered that it was actually pulling from the center pole. So this may have been one of those enormous like 600 gram balls.